Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a dual case break. 40 boxes of 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic Basketball. Fast break edition, although this will not be a fast break. Um, 40 boxes total. This is random at team break number one. All cards ship, one autograph a box, plus a lot of other great stuff here. This is a two-part break. Case one is going to be in this video and case two will be in a separate video. The link will be in the video description. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Big thanks to the people who bought spots straight up and congrats to the people who won their spots in those three fillers that we did. One spot equals two, so let's double up your names. Oh, double up, oh, oh. So there'll be uh, 30 on each list and all teams are in, no combos. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams. Five and a five. Ten the hard way. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And tenth and final time. After ten times, we got Chad down to Simon. Five and a five. Ten times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we got the Raptors down to the Pistons. Now trades are allowed, but remember this is your um, your 2020 NBA draft class. So that means the Anthony Edwards, James Wiseman, Lamelo Ball, Patrick Williams. Okongwu, Obi Toppin, Danny Avija, Tyrese Halliburton, Cole Anthony, etc., etc., etc. It's that draft class. All right, so Chad with the Raptors, Nicole with the Heat, Tristan with the Sixers, Jenna with the Cavs, Nicholas with the Thunder, David with the Bulls, last spot Mojo, Tristan with the Grizz, Simon with the Pacers. Uh, Steve Birch with the Rockets, Nicholas with the Mavs, Mario with the Knicks and Suns. Steve Birch, Hornets, Clippers, Wizards. Chad with the Bucks, Jenna with the Nuggets, Steve with the Jazz, Chad with the Warriors, Tristan with the Spurs, Chad with the Magic, Tristan with the Kings, Chad with the Pelicans, Steve with the Nets, Nicole with the uh, Hawks and Blazers. Chad with the Celtics, Nicole with the T-Wolves, David, you got my Lakers, your other last bot mojo, and Simon with the Pistons. Remember, uh, last bot mojo, 70% of the time, so they say, 70% of the time, it hits 100% of the time. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, TWC trade window closed. There was a deal done here, though. Chad is out of the Pelican spot into the Pacers spot, put a T there for trade. Simon is out of the Pacers spot and into the Pelicans spot. We'll put T right there for trade so we all know it was a trade. So this is part one of this dual case break. Part two will be in another video. We'll have it linked in the uh, video description here. We'll cross link both breaks. There'll be the recap for the first case will be at the end of this video and the recap for the second case will obviously be in the part two video. And big thanks to this group right here on a Monday, April the 10th, 2023. Appreciate everybody knocking this out. Let's see what hits have been marinating in here. Hopefully we'll see some monsters here. All right, there it is. Mosaic, 2020-2021, fast break. Sort of a heavy case here, a little awkward. Keep it on my, this camera angle right here. I 
make the case this way, perhaps. This is going to be kind of a mess here, but I'll try to make this work. Did I save it? I might have saved it. Woo! Saved it. I thought it was going to be spilling all over the place. All right, here we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. Good luck. Where's the big hit in this case? There's really no hit in this case. There's an autograph a box. Fast break is a, I guess, more of a retail -y edition. So it's not quite a hobby level, but it does have different parallels in here. There'll be some fast break exclusive parallels here. So we just we just want to look for the big names in that 2020 draft class is what we're what we're looking for. Let me pull that up. 2020 NBA draft. So like I mentioned before, we're talking the Anthony Edwards, James Weissman, Labello Ball, Patrick Williams, Okongu, Okoru, Obi Toppin, Denny Avija, Tyrese Halliburton, so on and so forth. So the big hit is just finding the big uh, the big rookie names. Maybe some low numbered parallels. But there isn't like a traditional there isn't like a case hit or anything like that. There you go. Jonah, thank you. Have, Have a good one, man. You as well. I'll let yeah, Chad. I'll I'll let you know if if if, if, you, if we, you get something if it's good, I'll definitely let you know. I'm sure the chat will be excited. They'll let you know. There's some possibility at uh at retired player or vet player autographs in here as well. So there's a little bit of an opportunity for that. Don't watch much basketball. You're missing out, Chad. Great time to be watching basketball. A lot of exciting young players in the mix. All right, here's box one. Good luck in all card ship. That's another good thing, this break. All right, just the interest of time, we're gonna breeze through these pretty quickly. There's our first Anthony Edwards. So those are your fast break parallels right there. All these Anthony Edwardses is, is gonna go to Nicole. That was a good, good randomizer for Nicole. And we got Seth Curry, two out of 85. That's gonna go to the Sixers, Tristan. Tyrese Maxey, and a redemption. Any guesses on this redemption? I don't think this would be, I don't think this would be expired. Hopefully not. I think we're still within the, I think we're still within this, the, the time. We got a Jared Allen to 10. Nice low number here for the Cavs. That's gonna be for Jenna Cook and the Cleveland Cavs. You had a, well, you had courtside seats, where? Where did you, for what teams did you have courtside seats? But your girlfriend took 300 selfies a game, came home with only with one image only, pissed you off and left a bad taste for basketball for the Blazers. Well, don't let someone else ruin basketball for you, Chad. It's like when people are like, oh, I can't listen to this great band anymore because it reminds me of an ex or something like that. And you're like, why let that person ruin 
ruin basketball for you or music for you? Don't let that person uh, control your enjoyment of the game. Here's Cole Anthony. It's like a variation right there. Here's more Anthony Edwards. Another Lamello. That's going to go to Charlotte. Steve Birch has the Hornets. All right. Redem is Luka Doncic. Autographs, fast break, Luka Doncic. He's still got until June of 2023. Dallas. That's for Nicholas. Won a spot in the filler. Got randomized Dallas. Gets the Luka redemption. Wow. It's not bad. And a free top loader too, look at that. All right, nice start, box one. This is part one of two. I'm gonna do the first full uh, fast break case here, and then the second video will be the other case for a total of two. Is that you, Nicholas? I think, I think is experience basketball, Nicholas? I haven't, I haven't made that connection yet. But he's saying, hell yeah, so I'm assuming yes. You know what helps the pace of this break? The fast break is actually not fast. You know what helps the pace of this break? These packs open real nicely. They could make every pack rip as smoothly as this. That'd be, that'd be a case breaker's dream. Does anyone else have? Yes, everyone. Everyone does. Bad. Although, a lot of times it's really, it's really based on the player not getting those redemptions in, not necessarily the manufacturer most of the time. All right, here's a base Anthony Edwards. We're looking for parallels here, Nicole. Let's, look, let's find some numbered cards here, maybe even an autograph. Uh, my Lakers playing the T-Wolves tomorrow night in a play-in game. I guess what's good for the hobby? I'd like to see Anthony Edwards with like a 40-point triple-double, but the Lakers to win. Can, can I have both? 21 out of 50, Kelly Olenek for Miami. That'll be for Nicole. You know, if you don't want to wait, a lot of times they, they can they can offer you something. They often can offer you something else in return. Here's Jaden McDaniel's rookie auto for Nicole and the T Wolves. I mean, there's really nothing you can do, Nicholas, with the Mavs. You just scratch off the little thing and. Submit the redemption and hope they have it. There's really no, no way to make that process go faster, especially if they haven't gotten the assets back from the player, which seems to be the case for, for a lot of players. There's Lugans Dort 
57 out of 85 for OKC. It's going to go to Nicholas. Another Lamello. That'll go to Steve. And our sorting and shipping team will top load all these before they get sorted and shipped out to you. All card ship as well. And behind Paul George is Isaac Okoro, a little variation. I'm glad they turned those, spun those variations around so we can capture them. There you go, a little V for variation right there. Uh, Jenna with the Cavs. Would I do the, who's the player? Also depends on the player and also depends on what they're offering you in exchange. At the National, which is in Chicago this year, I, so I see a lot of, a lot of people, uh, I think you can take Redemptions to Panini, the Panini booth at the National, and I think they'll, uh, they'll often hook you up with something else. I don't know if you have plans for the National, Chad, but that could be a possibility. Fields rookie, Judge, two cards. Aaron Judge, I feel like he's pretty good about signing stuff. Oh, I guess is it is it Tops Aaron Judge stuff or Panini Aaron Judge stuff? Either way, I mean it's it's a bit of a time it's a bit of a hassle, but I've heard some people have a good experience um, or a uh, better experience at calling. You know, calling Panini and trying to get someone on the phone and kind of hammer something out. Sort of a, a squeaky wheel getting, getting the oil kind of situation. Squeaky wheel, squeaky gate, maybe a squeaky gate. Anything squeaky? Oof. Killian Hayes. I want to make an appearance here. That is for Simon in Detroit. Fast break autograph. received one one card from them in 18 months. You've called Love Messages. Email, of course, tops five days. So tops is on top of it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, at, at this point, I mean, it would be nice to get that Justin Fields before the football season. Steve Birch has Charlotte. We'll be getting all those Lamellos. So you can find some Lamello parallels like this. Nice. This is the kind of stuff we want to see. This is an NBA debut Lamello in the fast break parallel. First of many, I hope. All those add up, and then, you know, I'm sure there's grading possibilities for a lot of those cards as well. Which, which is not a bad idea, and if they grade out well, and they've continued to play well, it's all, all good things here. And behind Chris Paul, a Celtic autograph. Peyton Pritchard. No, not an autograph, a variation. 
think he was it Chad? Someone was telling me this guy had like a this goes to Chad Cromwell. I think Chad Daw. Different Chad. Chad. Did he have like a 30 point triple double the other night? No, that's a paywall. Payne Pritchard just became the third solid player to, yeah. The third year point guard scored 30 points, 9 of 16 from three point, with 14 rebounds and 11 assists in 46 minutes of play. It's pretty good. It's a nice little boost going to the playoffs. There's Sadiq Bay, 10 out of 50 for Detroit. That's going to be for Simon. Another box. Mets are up 5 nothing on the Padres. No basketball scores to look up, but is there any basketball news? T will suspending Rudy Gobert for the play in versus the Lakers. As a Lakers fan, that makes me happy. NBA set the record set records for attendance and sellouts in 2022-23. I think Clifford, that's the Hornets coach, I think, saying must win to prevent a LaMelo ball exit. Luca on the future of the Mavericks. I'm happy here, he says. Yeah, I think uh, I think yeah, they do have to start Charlotte does have to start winning. If they want to get if you want to retain LaMelo Ball, get him on a second contract. I guess Luka's happy in Dallas, but Dallas has got to do some stuff. they got to put some work in, too. I think, they're, I think they want to re-sign Kyrie, which is fine, but I feel like they got to add some, some role players around them, guys who can play some defense. The defensive struggle is well-documented, and it's probably why they're not in the playoffs right now. Even though you want to see star power like Luka Doncic in the playoffs. All right, let's keep going. There's a nice Anthony Edwards, fast break parallel. That's for Nicole. And the Timberwolves with the spot that she won. Nice. It's the kind of stuff we're looking for. Now maybe we can find some numbered stuff, low numbered stuff, autos. Another Anthony Edwards. And we got an Anthony Edwards variation. Nice. Nicole with the Timberwolves. You see the difference right there? That's the base rookie card and that's that's the variation. Awesome. Robin Lopez, 10 out of 85. Robin's brother.
and we've got a Aaron Baines fast break autograph for Toronto. It's for Chad and the Raptors. Dino DNA. Dodgers Giants game might be happening soon. It's a little bit of an earlier start. Yeah, they're starting soon. We'll get the pregame show on. All right, we got uh let's whip around let's whip around baseball. Sandy Alcantara surrenders nine runs to the Phillies, gets pulled in the fifth. The Phillies beat the Marlins 15 to 3. They pounded out 20 hits. Rays continuing to win. They haven't lost yet this season. They're 10 and 0 now. Rays beat the Red Sox 1-0. Thanks to Brennan Lau's late home run. The record is 13. Astros beat the Pirates in Pittsburgh. 3 hit the Pirates. Astros win 8-2. Jordan Alvarez, two RBI single, caps off a big Astro inning. Orioles beat the A's 5-1. Guardians edged out the Yankees 3-2. And then the White Sox beat the Twins 4-3. Hanser Alberto crushing a three-run home run to give the White Sox the lead. Dylan Cease has the win. Kenta Maeda takes the loss. Those are your finals. We'll go through some uh, in-progress games in the next box. We got a gold, Tyrese Halliburton. Six out of ten for the Kings. Tristan in Sacramento. There's Lamello, and we've got a Greg Ostertag. Remember Greg Ostertag? Fast break autograph, Steve Birch and the Utah Jazz. There's Logan. He, he, he'll remember Greg Oster tag. National Pride, Anthony Edwards for Nicole in Minnesota. We got Rashawn Holmes, 7 out of 20 for the Kings. Tristan. National Pride Lamello. And then we got another Anthony Edwards variation. Hopefully one of those two ends up being a PSA 10 Nicole. All those add up.
All right, next. This might take longer than an hour. <laughs> I think the timer on my uh, stream. We're at the 30-minute mark. So five boxes, 30 minutes. So maybe one case is two hours. That's 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Jeez. Fast break, not fast at all. Glad I split it up. Games in progress. Cardinals are in Colorado. They're down two to three. Rangers leading the Royals four to one. Bottom of the fifth. Top of the eighth. Cubs leading the M's two to one. Same score in Atlanta. Braves up two to one. The Mets leading the Padres five nothing. The only games that haven't started are uh, Nationals Angels. That's starting. Like five minutes, Brewers Diamondbacks starting soon, Dodgers Giants starting in about 15 minutes. As for this break, hang in there. We'll get through it together if you're watching live. Although I don't think anyone's watching live. I think everyone just left. Everyone's left the chat, just leaving me on my own. Everyone else took their took their lunch break. Justin, <laughs> they're like, eh, it's an hour and a half. We'll see Joe in about an hour and a half. We'll go run some errands. You can probably go grocery shopping and come back, and I'd still be ripping this case. No, Aaron Rodgers has not found a home yet, Chad. Jamal Murray to 85. Jenna with Denver. Is that ever going to happen? I feel like the... I mean, what What would the Jets do? I mean, there's Devin Vassell for the Spurs. I mean, Aaron Rodgers all but said he's going to... He wants to go to the Jets. It's just like those two teams have to work things out. Tristan with the Spurs, is there a chance that... No, there's no chance. They'll get that deal done. I do remember... I do remember like seeing on ESPN or NFL Network or something like that, that there's a certain date where the cap hit becomes different, I think. I think if they... For example, if the Jets and Packers trade now, the... The cap hit for the Packers will be one number. Here's a Lugans Dort, five out of ten. Nice, Lou Dort. OKC Nicholas. But after another date, that um, that cap number gets cut in half or gets split in half. One impacting this season and the other half impacting the next season. So there's a chance that they may be waiting for that. But I think that date isn't until like I want to say it's like well after the draft, June 1st maybe? That number seems to be popping in my head. We've got another Anthony Edwards variation. There you go, Nicole. Ah, Rex is listening, but working because one of your guys called off again four times now in a two and a half month span, three times in a month, two times in a row. Sounds like this guy is... Gotta go, Rex. Who can we talk to about this?
Yeah, I gotta think it gets done too. Right, and the Jets are doing everything to to, to get all of Aaron Rodgers' friends in New York as well. Except for Odell Beckham Jr., who signed with the Ravens. What does everyone think about that? I think that was a one big bit of football news today. Odell Beckham Jr. on a one-year deal for like 15 million bucks with the Ravens. And I think that makes... And I think... Uh, which I think makes Lamar Jackson happy. But I don't think that makes some other teams happy because I think it kind of messes up the wide receiver market a little bit. Because I think the thing I was looking at watching on NFL Network where the Cardinals were exploring trades for DeAndre Hopkins. And if DeAndre Hopkins gets moved and wants to rework his deal or whatever, then he might be going like, well, if that guy... That guy got $15 million a year. What about me? I'm a lot better than that guy. <laughs> yeah, because all the union has been more than 20 years. Oh, tough to get rid of. You know, let's keep because that's... Mm. One of those union guys. Well, Rex, hopefully someday that'll be you. You'll be the one taking the days off. You don't get it. Lamar not committed. That was either all about the money or something else. I, I, think, it's, I think it's about the money. Here's Sean Kemp. Cavs edition of Sean Kemp. That'll go to Jenna. Yeah, I think I think Lamar Jackson, I'm pretty sure he's committed to playing the game. But you know, but not for not for anything less that he thinks he deserves. And I think uh, and he's put up a lot of uh, he's put up a lot of numbers. He's won himself an MVP. You know, I think I think you can blame Cleveland for messing up the market, the quarterback market for Baltimore. Maybe that was intentional from Cleveland. Let's screw around with, with the Baltimore Ravens. F those guys. We'll get our quarterback and give him a ridiculous guaranteed money deal. And then mess with the uh, mess with the Ravens at the same time. There's a manual quickly. A little variation going to Mario and the Knicks. If you were the Ravens, you wouldn't give it to him either? And what are you going to do at quarterback? There's Anthony Davis, 26 out of 50. Start over. You're sort of playing, I think the Ravens and Lamar are probably playing a little chicken. Who's going to blink first? Who's going to acquiesce to, to each other's deal? I guess the Ravens are probably thinking if someone doesn't make him an offer or you know, if someone doesn't make him an offer or the trade doesn't get done, I think you do whatever you can in the draft to make it a Lamar Jackson friendly draft and then convince him to say 
hey, I know we're gonna make we're gonna make you a very well paid quarterback, but we got to talk a little bit about the guaranteed money. We got to move that around a little bit. I don't know. Help help us get there. It's nearly impossible, I think, to win this league when you give the quarterback fifty million. Brady did it right. Take less, win seven. Wow. It's easy for Brady to do when you're all, all, all but assured winning the AFC East every year and having one of the best coaches in the NFL, in NFL history. I mean, that helps. For, for Lamar Jackson, I'm sure, I'm sure if he was assured that, and he was assured that the Baltimore Ravens organization will put the weapons around him put the coaching around him, put the team around him to get him there, I'm sure he would say, oh, yeah, fine, I'll take less. If you're guaranteeing chips. Brady, I feel like, such a unique situation. You almost have to put him out of any conversation, especially in terms of contract. You can't just point to Brady and be like, well, he took less. And then the player would be like, well, look at his team. Look at that organization. <laughs> you're going to provide the same thing? There's Simon with the Pelicans. Kier Lewis Jr. going to the Pelicans. That'll be for Simon. Anthony Edwards base going to Cole. But you're right. You can't give a quarterback $50 million plus a year and then, and then try to... Uh, Try to build another team around that, which is why I feel like here's a nice James Weissman variation. Which is why I feel like uh, there's Chad Cromwell of the Warriors. I feel like a lot of teams are trying to take advantage of of like quarterbacks on rookie contracts. You know, in that first five years, try to try to win something or something like that, and then. Try to kind of build around that. Sort of the, seems to be the formula. Mario, don't think can win the big game. You don't like that throwing motion. It's gotten better. And to be honest, I mean, who's who's he really throwing to? I mean, Mark Andrews is great, but. Has he had a decent receiver to throw to? There's R.J. Barrett to 50. Like, Marquise Brown could tear the top off the coverage, but it's hit or miss whether, he, whether he'd catch the ball or not. We got a Isaiah Ryder for the T-Wolves. Fast break autograph for Nicole. If 50 million a year, you make your wide receiver great. Yeah. But, but you know, I mean, I, I think the Ravens know they're not getting Peyton Manning. You know, or a classic pocket quarterback. So if they know that, then why weren't they, you know, you're doing, you're doing your quarterback a disservice. You're not supplying him with some decent receivers, even if they're not the household name receivers. I don't know. It's a tricky situation. I think that's kind of what has maybe soured that relationship a little bit. You know, kind of in the way that maybe the Packers and Aaron Rodgers' relationship sort of soured.
No, I don't think any team has publicly come out and said, uh, ooh, is that Mookie Betts with a leadoff knock? Nice. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Mookie, hustling around the bases. No, and I, I don't think a team would. Why, why would a team express any interest? The second they do that, you would you would you would lose a lot of leverage. You know you're you're going to be losing two first round picks anyway. We got a Josh Green. Rookie autograph for Dallas. That's going to be for Nicholas. We got a Peyton Pritchard variation. That's for the Celtics, that's for Chad. Royce O'Neill to 50. Or Anthony Edwards. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this break is a two hour break. I think this entire break is a four hour break. Let me have to adjust my times here. So by the time I finish this, refuel, and do another two-hour case, I think we might almost be towards the end of the night. No, I don't want to wait till I just want to knock all this out now. Because we're already at the hour mark. We're at 48 minutes. That's another like 25, 30 minutes each. Oh, it's a two hour break. Thankfully, we don't have any more mosaic fast break in the store. With the way uh, with the way baseball games have been going these days, with the pitch clock and things being sped up and things being a lot more efficient, there's a chance that this Dodgers Giants game may be over before I finish this this break. As crazy as that might sound. Got another home run for the? Oh no, they were replaying the Mookie Betts home run. Thankfully, this break is actually.
kind of a breeze. All the cards are right side up. You know, the variations are flipped around, which is helpful. The packs open smoothly. There's James Weissman variation for Chad Cromwell and the Warriors. There's Peyton Pritchard to 85 for the Celtics. Another Lamello. So if you're just joining us, folks, just take a look at the updated schedule. Turns out one case is going to be about an hour and a half to two hours. Man, I need I misjudged this monster. I'm gonna need like two monster boxes here too. There's Devin Vassell, fast break autograph for the Spurs, Tristan. Also, think of uh think of our sorting and shipping team. A break like this with so many cards, we're all card ship. Just keep in mind that it's going to probably take a tiny bit longer than you're used to seeing your breaks. So give it some extra time. Although I feel like the shipping team's been... We haven't had really long breaks. So I think our shipping team is pretty on top of it, so this might actually ship out during its normal time. Now, Chad was asking er earlier, uh, what, what does Arizona do with that third pick in the NFL draft? What does Arizona do? I mean, they should trade back, right? If they're not going to take a quarterback, if they could find a quarterback desperate team who wants to get up to that third spot. I feel like without Kyler Murray, I don't know when Kyler Murray's coming back, but without, but without Kyler Murray, I'm assuming he's missing a chunk of the season. You know, they're not going to get a quarterback. So my guess is that, I mean, they should trade down. I don't, I don't know if anyone wants to take Kyler Murray's contract. You think they draft a QB? I would be shocked if they draft a QB. Because no one's going to take that. No one's going to take Kyler's contract. I mean, I think, I think you, quarterback-wise, I think you kind of say, hey, this is a sort of a wash, sort of a, not a lost season, but they're kind of in a transitional period. They, they got the, a quarterback that went healthy is pretty exciting, but he's also on the smaller side. So why not spend this season just working on the offensive line, working on some more pass catchers. You know, trade that, take that third pick, trade down, get more picks, add to the defense. Steven Chenzo for Milwaukee, that'll go to uh, Chad. And then if you trade DeAndre Hopkins, you could probably get some some picks from him. Free up a little bit of money. So we'll do a little mini reset. There's Tyler Bay. Fast break autograph going to Nicholas in Dallas. One out of 10, nice little number on that one. Murray is a virus, Chad saying. That's harsh. They have to take a Q. They have to take a QB. You think Murray's out this year? Two years 
into the contract done. You consider him a Jamarcus Russell. I don't know about that. Jamarcus Russell provided absolutely nothing. You know, Jamarcus Russell did not, in 2021, Kyler Murray had almost 4,000 yards passing, 24 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 100.6 QB rating, 69.2 completion rating. Here's a lamella. Jamarcus Russell was not close to that. So that's, I think, I think you're, if you're comparing Kyler Murray to Jamarcus Russell, that's, I think you're way off. There's Joe Harris to 85. It's for the Nets, that's for Steve Birch. Yeah, he's my favorite player, Jamarcus. Put some respect on his name. Danny Avija variation for Steve Birch and the Wizards. I mean, it's not like baseball where you can just re well, I guess I guess you can release anybody in, in the NFL, but I think because he's getting paid so much, there's a lot of cap implications that really ham fist you. It gets your hands tied. I mean, that's the thing. It might just be like, hey, it's easy. Just cut the guy. But when you're getting quarterback money and the way those contracts are probably structured, his cap hit might be, you know, might be uh, really restrictive in terms of making other moves. And then you're just kind of handcuffed for however many years. I think you're just kind of stuck with him because of that. You're just kind of stuck with him, for better or for worse. And you're hoping that that the the moments of brilliance that he has shown, you know, that you could work with that. But I mean, is any of those quarterbacks? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't watch college enough, but Will Levis. Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, are are those are those uh, clear cut better options than Kyler Murray? Yeah, that's true. he is a smaller quarter of it. I don't think he takes the same hits that Tua does, though. I feel like Kyler Murray is better about that than, say, for example, Tua. I mean... I would, I would think, if I'm the Dolphins, I would think about moving away from Tua before, before I'd move away from Kyler Murray. Dirk Nowitzki behind him is Avery Johnson for the Spurs. That'll be for Tristan.
National Pride Anthony Edwards, NBA debut LaMelo Ball. Has there been drama in the locker room with Kyler Murray? There's another Anthony Edwards variation. Well, like, how's, this, uh, how's the dual case been? Not, not bad, all things considered. Do you want some help pack with the rest of those boxes, or are you good? No, you do you do your work. Well, I'm on dinner, so. Oh, then you enjoy your dinner, then. Alright. Steve Birch with Charlotte. It's Markel Fultz to 85. Yeah, I, t I think I heard, too, that this is a deep draft class, which is why which is why there's no, but deep, but maybe with individual quarterback not being, not having as high of a ceiling. I don't know, something like that. So if I'm the if so if it's if that class is that deep, then I would take that third pick, trade that down, trade that down, and uh, add to other parts of the team, and then why not get a quarterback in like the third or fourth round or something like that, as Kyler Murray insurance, you know. Why are, why are we paying third pick quarterback money when we're already paying another quarterback? If you really wanted that Kyler Murray insurance with a deep draft class, just take a quarterback in, in third, fourth round. Probably more value taking a quarterback there in terms of money and upside. And then you have a young guy, young hungry quarterback in the quarterback room that might, uh, you know, that might, you know, light a fire under Kyler Murray. Have him stop playing video games. <laughs> oh, I didn't need help, right? Because I don't need help. Who said I needed help? Thirteen left in the diamond dozen filler. And the eight full spots? Yeah, we can squeeze in a diamond dozen break later tonight. There's a Desmond Bain variation. Memphis, Tristan. And a Zion Williamson gold. I mean, I could. Everyone could, Rex. Everyone can use help. But I don't need it. Simon with the Pelicans. Yeah, they got a new coach too, so we'll, we'll have to see what the new Arizona Cardinals coach, you know, kind of thinks. I, I, would, I would imagine ultimately he'd want his own guy, but like my Raiders, I feel like there's just so many holes on that Arizona team that, that the quarterback at the moment is not, not their primary concern. There's Nasir Little. For Portland, Nicole. There's LaMelo Ball, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. 
I, you can click, you can press, uh, you can opt out of that, Tice. You opted in, you can also opt out. Just probably text stop might do it. Yeah, the Raiders head coach is the hole. I mean, some some argue he can go even higher. And the owner is the is, owner's the one hiring those guys. Right? And the, the the jury's for me the jury's still out on Josh McDaniels, but I think this is this draft is probably a big is probably a big uh, is a big year for him. But I think it's another one, another one where you're just kind of stuck. You know, where, where the Raiders are also kind of just stuck because they're, they're, I think they're still paying John Gruden. And the remainder of his contract. So I don't think they can literally afford to, to, to fire another coach, pay his contract and then hire another coach. There may be at least three to five seasons of paying three different coaches, two of whom are not on the team anymore. Raiders are stuck. So, hopefully they'll learn on the job. I th no, I think there's there's something he's still getting paid something. I'm pretty sure. No, Mark. I know he resigned, but I think there are guarantees in that contract. I don't think he's getting the full boat. See how long that running back stays in in Vegas. If the only franchise tag, and they haven't locked him in. Is that an autograph? Boom! There we go. See, this is the kind of exclamation points we're looking for in a long break like this. A Lamelo Ball rookie autograph. Five out of ten. Just a few off the jersey number. Steve Birch with a spot he got straight up. Got randomized the Hornets. Gets that LaMelo Ball rookie autograph. Gold. Gold parallel. Oh, yeah. May I? May I see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you could do, tell me, yeah. Chris, is to get, get me another... I think it's off uh, Two monster boxes, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, I would say a pretty rare Al Horford to twenty live auto of his. Yeah, seriously, usually they're usually redemptions. Ooh. Huh? Oh, the Raiders settled, but they still paid him something. But I guess not, not, not yearly. So I guess that's good. Please, thank you. And a Tyrese Maxey variation. It's good to know, but I still think that that uh, owner Mark Davis for the Raiders wants to wants to not do the coaching carousel thing again. I think McDaniels and Dave Ziegler are getting uh, getting a long leash, a longer leash. I think fans, a lot of fans wanted him out like now. 
But then the the question has always been, well, then who then who do you get? You know, who else is out there? Starting all over, you know. My guess is that that the Raiders will have a decent draft and I guess we'll have a decent season. Probably run through another draft, another free agent period. So this is 2023, right? I feel like 2024 would be sort of the, the hot seat season for, I mean, unless the Raiders just completely regress this year. Which I don't think is going to happen. But if they completely regress and maybe only have there, I thought that's what I thought. It's a one of one. Hey, Dante Divincenzo, black parallel. That's going to go to Chad Cromwell and the Milwaukee Bucks. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. If the Raiders only win like two or two to four games or something like that, then I think the seat will be very hot in the off season, and that could be an early season firing in 2024 if they start out slow. But I think he'll, I think he'll get like two full seasons. Probably draft a quarterback this year. There's Tyler Bay for Dallas. Jimmy G will be the the bridge ideally, and then within those couple years or so, the quarterback kind of marinates. Learns the system with Jimmy G in the QB room. In the meantime, Raiders will add pieces everywhere else, especially the defense, and then see what happens. Nice. Belly is Raiders Kings fan. Sacramento Kings? Yeah, big, big Raiders fan. Long suffering. <laughs> Twenty seven out of fifty Kyle Kuzma Lakers edition, David Lemons. And how exciting have the Sacramento Kings been this year? A lot of offense on the Sacramento Kings. And there's Isaac Okoro. And if they play a little defense, which I know that's not necessarily, the numbers don't suggest that it's a strong suit, but if they play a little defense, man, they could, they might be able to shock the Warriors. Playoffs for the first time in 16 years. I want to say, I feel like that trade that you guys made with the Pacers, I 
feel like that's one of like the the few. I think I feel like that's one of the few occasions between trades, especially kind of bigger trades, where it's kind of worked out for both teams. Usually, a trade happens, and then by the end of the season, there uh, one team is a clear winner over the other team in the trade. But I don't think in this case. I feel like the Pacers got a couple nice picks. Tyrese Halliburton has been playing well for that team. They got some young talent there around like Mathurian and Turner and all those other guys. They had a pretty decent season and another draft cycle and they can pop a free agent or two. I think that he'd, I think they'd be pretty happy. And then like you look at you look at the Sacramento Kings, especially with Sabonis on that team. And then youngsters like Keegan Murray, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that looks looks like it's worked out just fine for both teams, I want to say. But yeah, like the Gobert trade, Delar is saying, like that, you know, that looks terrible, right? Uh, sorry, Chad. Yeah, DiVincenzo is he's solid. He's uh, I don't think he's with the Bucks anymore. Where is DiVincenzo? But I feel like he's a solid off the bench guy, getting some good some good minutes off the bench. Regular contributor. Now what's the what's oh he's with the Warriors that's right so that's good you'll be able to see him in that Kings Warriors matchup here's Isaiah Stewart fast break autograph for the Pistons that'll go to Detroit Simon with Detroit We got uh, Onyeka Kongu for the ATL. That's for Nicole and the Hawks. I think he went to high school with this guy, Ball Brothers. Chino Hills High School, kind of near where I grew up, about an hour or so east of here. There's Brandon Ingram to 20. I miss Brandon Ingram. Wish he was on the Lakers. This goes to uh, Simon and the Pelicans. All right, next box. Yeah, I, should we talk about Zion Williamson? Pelicans could be great if Zion stays healthy. Is he ever going to stay healthy? I mean, we've got to start talking. I mean, I, you know, first first couple years, I was, you know, I, I was the first to be like, hey, let's give this guy some time. Let's give this guy... Some chances, still very early in his career, blah, 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 blah. But has, I mean, and this is hashtag sad for the hobby. 
but are we do we now have to start discussing although I, I wouldn't I don't want to use the term bust because I think when players could just deal with injuries I, I don't really I don't really consider that a bust But like, but I mean, maybe there's two different categories. Injury-related bust? Is that, is that what it's going to be? Another sort of, another Anthony Davis for the Pelicans kind of situation? Where the talent is immense and it's there when, you know, when that player is healthy and playing, but the player is not healthy, doesn't play a lot, which is a shame because I think the Pelicans have, have put together a pretty decent team. That CJ McCollum trade, you know, really looked like wonders last year and this year. There's Michael Green for Denver. That's going to be for for Jenna in Denver. Well, Greg Oden was also more injury related, right? I mean, I guess I could call it an injury related bust. But I feel like there's two busts, right? Like there's a bust where the player is is drafted high or is hyped up and and just given every opportunity to play but just does not play well. That's one kind of bust. And then the other kind of bust, I think, is, you know, the player that just can't stay healthy. That kind of bust. Zobi Toppin. Zion doesn't seem committed. I think he did. He was. He did not come into the season. I think that was a little unfair. There were some social media posts going around how he was. He was gigantic, but I don't know. Chad, you said yourself you haven't watched a lot of basketball, so I feel like you're just going on what you've been hearing. On social media, he actually came in pretty, uh, pretty slim, by his standards, <laughs> but not like this, like three hundred and fifty pound, like obese dude around the court. You know, I think I think he could he be more fit? Yeah, sure, but I don't think I don't think he was as unfit as people. People may have may have said, right? And there was an injury that didn't really allow him to move too much. But once he got into basketball shape, I mean, he was at an explosive playing weight to start the season. Those those things of three hundred and fifty, though, I think it's just I mean, that might be during like rehab. There's Chad and the Warriors, but he got into basketball shape within a few months over the summer and looked great coming into the season and was putting up some really nice numbers, moving really well on the court. And those injuries cropped up again. I mean, that just might be the way his body is built. It just seems like, it just seems like, uh, even if Zion was the size of Brandon Ingram, you know, like weighed as much as Brandon Ingram, I feel like he would, he would still have those issues. Right, yeah, I agree, Mark. I think Zion's on his way to being the Greg Oden sort of bust, not the Anthony Bennett type of bust, right? Anthony Bennett was picked number one overall, promptly shipped off, and I think he was, wasn't was injured, was given all the minutes to succeed, you know, and all the opportunities in playing time and just played his way out of a job.
Gabe's saying they need to give Zion and Anthony Davis whatever they gave Patrick Mahomes when he hurt his ankle in the Super Bowl. Was it a... Uh, was it... Stem cells? See if Lloyds of London has potential insurance. They should, they should insure, should they insure potential? That'd be, that would not be the insurance game that I would want to get into. No, Max Muncy just hit a three-run homer, though. Oh, that's good for your fantasy team, Gabe. Yeah, he just hit a hit a three-runner. There's Isaac Okoro variation. I would, I did not see the play. I just heard it. Got the TV audio on. I wanted. I don't know if it was on a, a fastball or a breaking ball. If it was on a breaking ball, that'd be nice to see. Mark saying Brandon Roy, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Greg Oden had a 50-12 and 12 record together when they played. Is that right? It could have been with that team. There's Derek White for the Spurs. That's for uh, Tristan. Wouldn't happen, but interesting of all the people that spent so much money on Zion rookies filed a class act. I don't even know, like, how, like, in one, what, what part of the law would even allow that? Zion didn't produce these cards, and you couldn't really, you couldn't really sue the manufacturer either. And I don't think any lawyer would take that case. This is Kendrick Nunn. Miami edition. Really wish he would have worked out with the Lakers. Uh, this goes to Nicole on the Miami Heat. Haha, ha, Chad. <laughs> Very funny. See that home run replay.
What happened there? This guy bunted? He didn't go foul? The manual quickly. National Pride Lamello in his canter to eighty five. Numbered pile. Cam Reddish. Fast break autograph for the ATL. That'll be for Nicole. Yeah, it would be interesting what the Wolves would do with Gobert if they somehow beat the Lakers. My understanding, I mean, it can't be... It can't be more than a one-game suspension. Well, how much... How, how many games was Draymond suspended for that swing on Jordan Poole? Thing is, I get the feeling that a lot of, um, that this happens a lot like in practice, you know? Players are competitive, they get fired up. You know, they're, they think they're putting an effort. They're, they think another player is not putting an effort. And, you know, players holding players accountable. This kind of stuff happens frequently, but it often doesn't get publicized, like the Warrior situation. It usually doesn't happen publicly, like on a bench in the middle of a game. Was it just one game for Draymond, the team suspension? All subsequent reports have suggested that Rudy Gobert, I think, was it Kyle Anderson that he, that he put a fist into his chest? That he apologized to him personally and apologize to the team. Emotions got the better of them, et cetera, et cetera. They beat the Lakers. My guess is that they're going to want to... Uh, they're going to need Gobert for the series. Although he hasn't been as as effective as I thought he would be. They gave up a lot for Rudy Gobert. If you look back on the trade, I think they gave up a lot of assets for Rudy Gobert. I think they were expecting a lot more than just you know what he's produced. I don't think they wanted him to fight with. Oh, Draymond didn't get suspended, but it was fine. All right. Yeah, I can't imagine this would be more than a one-game thing. I'll, I'll bet if this was behind closed doors and not on not on TV, you know, I'll bet I'll bet it would have been a team fine or something like that, no suspension. You gotta, I mean, that has to be behind closed doors, right? Can't, can't be punching teammates in a sideline huddle. 
Here's David with the Chicago Bulls, Patrick Williams. It seemed that he was disgruntled in Utah too. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't. What didn't Donovan Mitchell and and Rudy Gobert butt heads in Utah? Here's Tyrese Halliburton, 15 out of 50. National Pride, Purple Parallel for Sacramento. That's for Tristan. But when, I, when Rudy Gobert first went to Minnesota, I was like, man, that's going to be, that's going to be a Twin Tower sort of situation. You got like Carl Anthony Towns, a big man who can shoot from the outside. He can play inside and out. Rudy Gobert is going to be like, he's going to do the defensive dirty work. You know, free up Carl Anthony Towns to roam around. You know, play some defense. Gobert would provide some defense, some rim protection. But I don't think that, I mean, it's happened in, here and there. But I don't think in, in the way that that Minnesota expected to. There's Al Farouk Aminu. Fast break autograph for the Bulls. That goes to David. Last spot mojo. But like what's Rudy Gobert disgruntled about? Like what does he think he should be doing? Does he think he should be the centerpiece of the offense? I don't know. We'll explore that in part two of this group break, ladies and gentlemen. This is 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic Fast Break Basketball Dual Case Break number one. This is case one, part one. Here's a little hit recap. Nice Zion to 10, some Anthony Edwards, some Lamellos, Tyler Bay to 10. Lou Dort to 10. I like the gold parallels, Tyrese to 10. A lot of Anthony Edwards parallels, which are nice. Lamellos as well. Nice Luka Doncic fast break autograph. And then we've got the Dante DiVincenzo, one of one, and the LaMelo Ball fast break rookie auto gold, five out of 10 for the Hornets. There you go, gang. This is part one, case one of this, uh, of this break. We'll see you in another video for the second half of this dual case break, the other case, jaspyscasebreaks.com. This is the end of part one. We'll see you for part two. Bye-bye.